So we ended the last video with the very first picture that a spacecraft ever, a spacecraft ever returned from another planet. It was a Venus, and you sort of see here. I just love, love, love pictures like this because you're just looking at rocks and little pebbles and soil and even a little horizon in there from another planet. I can just never get over that. And of course, as we said, it was the, the spacecraft itself only lasted about two hours because it's so hot there, close to 900 degrees. The air pressure is so large, it's just difficult to design something that can last in those types of temperatures and pressures. So it was likely melted and crushed after about two hours of beaming data back. So long live Venera 9. The Soviet Union didn't give up. They launched and landed Venera 13 in 1982. And one of the interesting things about this is they try to extract a little bit of information about Venus's atmosphere. So once again, you see a bunch of rocks and things like that. And what this, this was right here was a color strip that if you looked at it on air, in air, maybe on Earth or something like that, like this, this last little square here might have been solid blue like that. Then it'd be followed by some white like this. And then it might have been followed by some red like this, this sort of thing. So you can sort of see the blue colors, but now that it's in the Venetian atmosphere, the question is what do the colors look like now, right? Because if the maybe the camera aperture is sort of, as you can tell, maybe way back here, looking at whatever light comes in has to bounce off the colors and go down into the camera aperture. And of course, in doing so, passes through Venus's thick atmosphere, even if it only is a few, only is a few feet of it, like on a, you know, a very smoggy or foggy day. It, even your, your experiences, you can tell that colors in your view change as well, the same on Venus. And so they were able to get a little bit of information about the atmosphere from that. Once again, the harsh conditions on this planet here, the lander survived for 127 minutes, and that's pretty good because the, it was designed to only last 32 minutes, where the temperature was 457 degrees, which is near that sea, which is near, near, near 800, 855 degrees Fahrenheit, about 100 times the Earth's atmosphere, and there was another vehicle that was orbiting the planet, which was serving as the uh, antenna or the transmit reception from the surface and then back down to some Earth-bound telescopes for... Uh, processing the data. So anyway, more pictures here of the planet. And I just sort of love looking at these sort of patiently because you're seeing things like the, you know, the spacecraft itself landing thing, just looking at a different planet. You're just looking at Venus. Busted up rocks here, maybe a little hill broken away there. Who knows what's beyond, right? Different direction, flat planes. I don't believe this one moved at all, so just different direction there. Just a bunch of busted up rocks, some smooth air horizon there and just that white sky again reminds us of the light pollution slides okay so with that then let's just spend the remainder of the video getting some facts out about venus and i'll tell you what i believe is the important thing about the planet okay so you see uh in the solar system there's just some notes here about venus second from the sun as you know uh size Similar to Earth, sister planet, as we said. Uh, if you look at it, it's very nondescript. And it's very bright. And I'll just say again, in terms of this brightness here, even now, this is the year May 2020. Uh, Venus is up in the early evening. You can even see it um, when the sky is still very much illuminated by the sun. Uh, and both of these reasons right here, the nondescript when you look at it very bright, are due to those clouds. So the clouds reflect a lot of sunlight, making it bright, bright in the sky. And if you ever get a close look at it, then um, it's very nondescript because you're just looking at clouds basically here. Earth's sister planet. And as we mentioned, it exhibits phases because it is an inferior planet. And hopefully you can remember this definition inferior right here. It means it's between the Earth and Sun. So in our solar system, relative to us, there's only two inferior planets, Venus and Mercury. The surface itself, because of the clouds, has never been seen with human eyes. Now, 
Now, yes, there are photos from a lander that landed there, but never directly by human eyes, say with a telescope on the surface of Earth or anything like that, because you just can't see through those darn clouds. Uh, some of its timing, the orbit is about 224 days. And remember, this number on Earth is our 365 days or one year closer to the sun. Makes sense that it wouldn't take as long to go around it. And the rotation is about 243 days. And so I think we discussed this very early in the class that these numbers right here, that Venus is here, uh, the day is longer than the year. So it's just kind of interesting if you lived on Venus then the day longer than the year. Um, if you saw the sun at noon on the some day where it's nice and high in the sky and you're having lunch, uh, you would go through your whole birthday and end of the year celebrations and another school season and all these things. In other words, a whole year would go by before you would see that sun rise to the highest point in the sky again, giving you your north. That's what it means for a, a day to be longer than a year. Um, of course, a couple other things here. Um, maybe it was a lush paradise. You know, so maybe we'll say, was it lush? Did it have oil? Did it have dinosaurs? Of course, all the answers to those questions are no. It's just not like that there. And lastly, and just a couple more facts here. Some of the temperatures of it, it's 896 degrees Fahrenheit everywhere all the time. So it doesn't matter on Venus in the case of temperature or anything like that if you're on the side that's not currently lit by the sun or anything like that. It's just very hot there all the time. And as comparison then, the temperature on Mercury is something like 800 degrees Fahrenheit. So even though Mercury is closer to the sun, remember, Venus is still hotter. So you're getting sort of an idea then um, about some very special important thing about Venus you might use to answer that question number 26. So remember about Venus. Venus is definitely the hot planet. Okay, more in the next video.